Great. Hey friends, Pastor Fieber Corn here with you for Bible Teaching Tuesday. Uh, this coming weekend in our epistle reading, we find ourselves in Romans chapter 10. Um, and I want to zero in on uh, Romans 10 verses 9 and 10, the beginning of which is, uh, Paul writes, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And then it goes on to say, for it is with the heart one believes and is justified, but with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Now, at face value, this would seem like uh, it's not enough just to believe in your heart and be justified, but you also have to confess with your mouth in order to be saved. And you can see where some get the idea that you need to make a, a public confession of faith or else uh, salvation is not yours. Um, let's think about this for a minute. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about a guy who wanted to join our congregation out of my prior church, um, but he was too sort of shy and I won't say embarrassed, but self-conscious about going forward when we did the adult confirmation and making his profession of faith. And so he asked, would I let him not do that? <laughs> well, this verse was on my mind. A little. Um, he said he believed in Jesus and I had no reason to believe otherwise. Um, and yet he was unwilling to profess with his mouth that he was saved. I mean, he professed it to me. He just didn't want to do it publicly. Well, the last thing I wanted to do was not uh, have him be a member of the church just because of an awkward five minutes he didn't want to spend uh, up in front of everyone. Um, but nevertheless, it bothered me that he would shy away from this because most people want to publicly express their faith in the presence of the assembly. Um uh, it's something to sort of hang on to that I stood there and, and I did that. Uh, so here's what I think is going on with Paul. I don't think Paul is, I think he's making a distinction without a difference. Believing in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ is enough for salvation, certainly. Uh, you're justified, Paul says, if you if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. But what did Jesus say in Mark 7? It's out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. So if you got evil things going on in your heart, eventually one of those things is going to squirrel its way out and come out, and then your heart is exposed by the evil words you said. So uh, now think about this in the opposite direction. If you have faith in your heart and trust in Jesus, then eventually that's going to come out of your mouth, as it did with this member I'm speaking of. Uh, he still confessed Jesus. He just didn't want to do it in front of people. Um, but it's not like uh, you believe, now you got to confess, then you've done your two things to be saved. No. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul saying the inevitable outcome of that is we will joyfully give expression to the hope that uh, lies within us. Um, so, hey, this will kind of be important actually in a couple of weeks when we talk about, uh, or this coming weekend in Bible class when we talk about the unforgivable sin, the sin against the Holy Spirit. I'm going to talk more about this verse and how it relates to that. So uh, if you're someone that comes to higher education on Sunday mornings, you'll see. Uh, maybe you don't normally do that. Uh, here's an invitation to come and see what that's all about. Uh, but for you this day, uh, as you begin your morning with a devotion, um, I pray that you would uh, give confession to the faith that's in your heart. Uh, confess the salvation that is within you that was worked by Jesus when he gave you the power to trust in his reality that he is our risen Savior. All right. You guys have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you in worship this weekend. God's peace.